Okay, so hi everyone. We're in our videos in mathematics in the modern world. And here, as promised, I will show you and um, let you see um, rotations um, in Rosette symmetry. So um, we have here, this is an interactive. Um, we're going to try it out so that we can see how the Rosette symmetry works. So imagine that there's a point somewhere here, which is in the center of this box. And we can draw somewhere here. Um, here, so our tool is simply a line. Let's start with that. The line width will, will, will be three by default, and the color is black. So I want uh, how many symmetries you want. Um, let's say let's have let's start with small three. And then what we're gonna do then is we can draw. You can just click on here and then drag your mouse and then as if you're like you're drawing, and you can see that there can be a lot of symmetries here. If you want, you can click on reflections and you, you can create reflections out there. There you go. So simply, there's a center there, okay? So you can add another line, and you can see you what you're doing is you are we are rot rotating, okay? So this is a rosette pattern, okay? So this is one rosette pattern that we have here. So for example, I'm gonna make it like that. If I'm going to add reflections, it makes it even complex. Now let's have to have let's try to have a different um, number. If we're going to make it 8, it makes it like that. If it's 10, 11, 10 rather, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, there. Okay, so it's pretty much um, um, beautiful. It depends on, on how you see it. Okay, so I have started with 3, so it looks like that. We can try and write some freehand. So let's make it CN, for example. And if I'm going to do this, yeah, so it sounds amazing. So it's not perfect, okay? Anyhow, we can add another one and another one and another one. So if you're going to make this four, it will look messy actually. But the thing is, you know, you can you have fun creating some sort out of that mess. You can see that there's some pattern emerging. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so you can try to experiment on this so that you can see how the reset pattern works. How about I'm going to make it a magenta? And uh, how about I'm just going to, you know, um, just put an oval somewhere. Okay, so as you can see, it looks like that. And look at the magic of that oval. It's like you're, you're drawing something. I think that you, can, you have seen that tool somewhere. So you can see that uh, even a simple oval can have that. Of course, if we're going to make it like three, you can see the ovals literally. It doesn't really look that good. But if you are going to re rotate it 20 times, it looks like that. And if you're going to add rotate reflections, it even looks much complex. But um, it's quite interesting to work on this and to, you know, try, try something out. Um, I would like to make it green and you know let's let's try field oval. We're going to put some field oval here so it looks like well all our drawings are gonna be going to we're going to disappear because of that. Anyhow, let's try that. And how about a rectangle? Okay. I'll make it um red this time and try to look at that. Okay, so I'm going to give this to you. Try to work it out yourself. Maybe you can create your own art out of it. And, you know, um, enjoy uh, how to create a, pre a rosette pattern. And um, I'll, see you, I'll see you in the next video on how to create and, you know, try to interact and create some wallpaper patterns. So I hope you enjoy this one. Thank you very much.